morning everyone so this morning i'm going to be doing something a little bit different i've come out to a new place over near kirkleatham which is in red car they've just built this i think it's going to be some type of event car park and i thought it's still close to the public so i might as well give it a try but i wanted to do a little bit of a tuning video because beta flight 4.1 the sliders are brilliant, dead easy, absolutely fantastic, but the problem is they'll only get you so far. So what I want to do is just fine tune that last little bit, show you how to do that, and I'll be doing a bit of a stick cam as well, which I'll obviously show you. A couple of the manoeuvres that I do, how I do them, and, and just give you a little bit of insight into towards that. So I'll get strapped up, get the battery in, get loaded up, and we'll get ready to go. Alright, so... It's a little bit windy so I apologise if there's bad audio but basically I've set my sliders there's four on the PID profile page so it's 1.0, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2 1 and my filters are both on 1.2 as well and that's got me pretty much where I want to be but I'll show you that first and let you get an idea of everything and just set the brightness on my goggles that looks pretty good to me. Let's have a little go then. Oh, just put DVR on, that would help. Camera angles really low actually. There's a couple of See a little bit of prop wash there? I'll do a splitter. That's actually really good. Uh, you can see a little bit of wobble there, a little bit of drift. I think that's high term on your maybe the wind is to do with that to be honest. Fighting quite a bit of wind today. But one thing you will notice is I have my rates quite low, so I do have to make quite a lot of movements. I think I'm on about 0.85 rate, 0.86 super rate, with about 10 expo, something about that. That's actually not bad, but we need to change the eye on the U axis definitely. We're getting a lot of drift on that, as you can probably tell. But overall, you, you know, you can see it's not not too far away, even on what you hit. That's actually really good. A little bit of prop wash there. Yeah, it just seems to be getting quite a lot of drift and I don't know whether that's the wind or the tune. Snapping in quite nicely there. Yeah, it's always to that one side, so... Could quite possibly be just the wind. Have a look. See that? That's me just holding on there. See the yaw twist? So, the first thing we need to do is definitely put a bit more yaw on there. Definitely put that camera angle up a little bit. This battery's on the thing. It's a bit too wet down there for my liking. I'm not going under that gate yet. So I think what we'll do. You can see that yard drift there. Very odd. So I'll change that now and put that camera angle up a little bit. My 
hands are really cold. I don't know how well you can see all of this because I'm using this session. As you can see, I like to bring a laptop to the field because I can't be bothered setting up smart audio, which just makes things a little bit more fun. So the eye for the yaw is already on 90, so that's quite a lot. But let's try 100 because the pitch eye is already on 90. We will save that. EEPROM saved, 7.58 in the morning. Disconnect. Unplug and we'll change batteries and we'll give that another go. It's called something like that, but we'll see if this has made any difference. Oh, well, that sounds much better straight away. Yep. Feels a ton better. A bit more Dion roll, I think. Just a little bounce back there, I don't think you can see that. Not much, but it's enough. The motors are cold, so it's easier if done. Do the pitch. Again, a small amount, but not much. Much better under that high throttle. Yeah, it's quite a bit of a bounce back on that pitch. Maybe up D by three on the roll and four or five on the pitch, I think. Nice and smooth like that, you won't feel it. It's just in a fast, snappy movement, which really is where all the finesse is. See the bounce there? It's quite a big bounce there, a big slow bounce. That kind of makes me think that D's too high. Maybe it was the feed forward not picking in. But overall, it still feels. So I made one last change, and that was I up the D maximum again because the motors are still very cold. So I up them both by five from 55 to 60 and 50 to 55. I can't remember on which axis now, but anyway. And I think that's about it. I think it's really well tuned and the 4.1 sliders give you a really good baseline they really do and if you're just looking for that quad that flies okay then that's great that's that's you if but if you want to do that little bit extra and get it flying amazingly to be honest there's not much work you have to do so it's it's good both sides it's easy for people to get into it and it's a lot easier for those guys who want to go that extra step and tune it that bit more so yeah um happy all around really i think it flies really well obviously i'm using the impulse rc apex frame and i have got rpm filtering enabled and to be honest i love the way it flies i really really do and i'm gonna go to a new spot now find my last few batteries and i'll do a little freestyle montage video for you thanks for watching <laughs>